το Παρίσι, πιο ρευστό και από τον ωκεανό, αντιλάμπιζε στα μάτια της αίμας μέσα σε μια χρυσορόδινη αχλή. And that film destroyed me. Mm-hmm. Over oh, Michelle Pfeiffer and uh, my favorite, 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 favorite actor. And I was destroyed by that film. Because I started collecting china and crystals. And little items and decorations and linens and towels and uh, I wanted lush sofas with pillows and and I started entertaining people and having some pain dinners. With very expensive champagnes, Cristal, you know. and I adopted their style, remoted, flirting, but never being uh, promiscuous. And I didn't realize that I was provoking people because. They could never repay me. I mean, the, they could only afford Regina, which is our cheapest wine, and I was serving them a Chateau Petrus, a $5,000 uh, bottle of wine. And I couldn't, I wasn't honest enough with them because I should tell them, I should be, I should be frank and tell them the story, what made me think of having uh, such dinners. Okay, let's now play. Let's play that we are in this movie. I mean, it will make all of our lives better and they won't hate me back.
Ωστόσο η πληθωρική ζωή που έσφιζε μέσα σε εκείνο το σάλο ήταν χωρισμένη σε τμήματα, ταξινομημένη σε ξεχωριστούς πίνακες. Η αίμα δεν έβλεπε παραπάνω από δύο-τρεις που τις κρύβανε όλους τους άλλους και εκπροσωπούσαν μόνοι τους ολάκερη την ανθρωπότητα. Ο κόσμος των πρεσβευτών βάδιζε πάνω σε γυαλιστερά παρκέ, μέσα σε σαλόνια που η τύχη τους ήταν επενδυμένη με καθρέφτες, κυκλοφορούσε γύρω από οβάλ τραπεζάκια, σκεπασμένα από βελούδινα τραπεζομάντιλα με χρυσά κρόσια. Εκεί υπήρχαν τουαλέτες με μακριά ουρά, μεγάλα μυστήρια, Αγωνίες κρυμμένες κάτω από χαμόγελα. Η ζωή τους κυλούσε ψηλότερα από όλων των άλλων, κάπου μεταξύ ουρανού και γης. Ανάμεσα στις καταιγίδε και ήταν κάτι το εθέρια υψηλό. Όσο για τον υπόλοιπο κόσμο ήταν χαμένος χωρίς εξακριβωμένη θέση, σαν να μην υπήρχε. Μέσα στη λαχτάρα της μπέρδευε τις αισθησιακές απολαύσεις της πολυτέλειας με τις χαρές της καρδιάς. Τους κομψούς τρόπους με τη λεπτότητα των αισθημάτων.
，地震后，余震一直都不断。我晚上睡不好，经常梦到又地震了。每次醒过来，觉得好像还睡在当时避难的地方。我梦到一个人被水冲走了，然后很多人又被冲走了。我想喊，就是喊不出来。真的好吓人！难怪下雨的嘛。全部抬完了，都没有跑出来，不知道暂时。小二，小二，三岁多，一直卖到三九呀。那不是小孩的眼神，他的那一双眼睛，我始终都不会忘记。我的好朋友，好邻居，走的走。散的散，好多房子都倒了。地震后，我们搬了很多次家，搬来搬去，都定不下来。
真好，我们原来的房子成了卫浴房。我们在这里住了二十多年了。那天挖掘机来推房子的时候，楼顶上的那棵桂花树还开着花。有时候，我觉得我在梦里头清醒得很，好像还有个声音在跟我说些啥子，可怎么听都听不清楚。
匹马追逐着一道光，向大海跑来，仿佛是久远的记忆，很多年。远远的地方，有歌声飘摇。不要啊，不要惊动大海。在去大海的路上，那些漂泊的人呐、啊，将在那里出现，也将在那里消失。You know, America is not unique in its sins. 
as a country. We're not unique in our evils, to be honest with you. Um, I think where we where we may be singular is our a refusal to acknowledge mm -hmm. and the legends and myths we tell about our inherent, you know, goodness uh, to hide and cover and conceal, so that we can maintain a kind of willful ignorance that protects our innocence. saying pundits, oh, it's just about economic populism. <laughs> it's not about race. When people knew, people knew, social scientists were already writing that what was driving the Tea Party were anxieties about demographic shifts, that the country was changing, that they were seeing these racially ambiguous babies on, on Cheerios commercials, that the country wasn't quite feeling like it was a white nation anymore. And people were screaming it from the top of their lungs. Yo, this is not just simple economic populism. This is the un ugly underbelly of the country. this and I'll take the hit on it. There are communities that have had to bear the brunt of America confronting, white Americans confronting the danger of their innocence. of the ugliness that's in us. 
I've had the privilege of growing up in a tradition that didn't believe in the myths and the legends because we have to bear the brunt of them. Either we're going to change, or we're going to do this again and again, and then these are going to have to grow up without mothers and fathers, uncles and aunts, friends, while we're trying to convince white folks to finally leave behind their history that maybe, maybe or embrace a history that might set them free from being white. Finally.